Good morning, observers. Today we're going over the official double impact solar storm watch set for the start of the weekend. We'll hit weather, cool science, and then we'll deliver a scientific spanking of the highest order. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star where solar flaring settles in high C-class range. There were a few pops, some eruptive events off the limb, but the last 24 hours was slightly calmer than before. However, as you know from yesterday, M-class solar flares in the previous two days have been erupting. Yesterday morning, we showed a couple of them. The first was already confirmed to be heading for the Earth, and the second was in diagnosis. Those two flare flashes and plasma ejections are now fully tracked and modeled, and NOAA shows both eruptions leaving the sun and arriving between midday tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday night. Neither is large or scary, and low level one geomagnetic storm conditions are forecast, and the severity of the storm will ultimately be determined by the proximity of those impacts to Earth. The closer together the one two punch, the harder it hits. Quick look ahead. Sunspots look gnarly and capable of flaring, but they are turning out of view, leaving the smaller ones at central heliographic longitudes and a blank incoming quadrant. It's unlikely to stay blank, though, because both helioseismic returns and the field arcs seen on SDO suggest southern sunspots are incoming from just over the horizon. Well, folks, Golf of America really wanted to make a name for itself, didn't it? That's a first impression if I've ever seen one. But the top weather alert is shifting to the UK right now. Red alerts posted by the Met Office, and there's a very good reason. That extra tropical storm is heading right for the island. Tomorrow, there could be winds reaching hurricane status and not just Category 1. Eyes open across the pond. Up first in the articles, the Swarm mission, tasked with monitoring and studying Earth's magnetic field, has announced that they have successfully detected the subtle field variations caused by the tides. That's very cool. Good work, guys. But uh, isn't there something else you should be focusing on right now? Up next, folks, Micronova doesn't even begin to describe this one. The maximum X-ray luminosity from the Nova event was less than an X-class solar flare from the sun. The entire Nova event, not even as much energy released as an X-class flare from our star. That's a nano Nova, folks. And last but not least, the spanking. Folks, this team is trying to quell the fears about the collapsing Atlantic meridional overturning circulation, the AMOC, suggesting people should not be worried. Nothing's really happening, and the cold climate bomb it would unleash and utterly destroy the global warming narrative as we slide back into a glacial cycle on this planet surely is not going to happen, they say. Well, that's great news. Wow, how did they figure this out? Did they use observations of current speed below, the salinity, deep temperatures, the tracks of those subsurface currents? No. To judge the deep heat transport currents, they looked at the air-sea temperature interactions at the surface, which is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Just to be clear, last year alone, one team went to the deep to get the actual data and said, uh, this thing is collapsing very quickly. Another group used underwater data to suggest it was not just collapsing, but it was going to happen in the next couple years. That concept was actually confirmed by a third team who also decided it was best to use actual in situ data as opposed to judging a homeowner by the brick color on his chimney. Indeed, horribly bad paper out today. Ocean collapse continues. Cold coming. Earth disaster cycle resetting now. Folks, now that the suspicious observer's name is retired and something of an inside honor term, we decided to do one last run of the suspicious observer's gear. Folks, if you have any of the old gear that says suspicious observers and not space weather news, that is rare stuff now. Link to this one is below, only available the next seven days, the last run. Also, don't forget to come see us in person. Pole shift disaster cycle conferences or the bigger events, pick a date. Come see us. It all starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.